hello welcome into the channel today today is july 26 2022 thank you for being here and i hope all is well with you so these are your daily tarot card messages for today it's a rainy day beautiful weather i give thanks all right so because these messages are general just take the the, the ones that resonate with you for your energy today all right so i see a lot of luck your fortune is changing things are working out in your favor something is shifting in your favor this energy um is you could be getting your confidence back or getting your vibrations your energy your inspiration your motivation your courage or getting a certain position but but i just feel like something shifted in your favor I feel like some of you may have been sad or disappointed. It's like maybe you were told no and you're telling yourself like you're used to that. Like you're saying I'm used to, I expected this. So maybe stop expecting the worst to happen for you and think of the best. Wow, I feel like that is so powerful. I'm going to say it again. Stop expecting the worst to happen. Stop expecting yourself to be denied or de de dejected or delayed or rejected expect that things are working out for you and it is all about your like how do you feel about yourself why do you feel like things i know you could feel like things don't always work out in your favor because of your experiences but that is the cycle you have to stand up now and take charge because you're gonna say all right my experiences say things don't normally work out for me so then you start to expect things not to work out for you and then your experiences um you you experience that vibration because you already felt that so now you're gonna you know it's like it's a, a cycle that's gonna continue with the wheel of fortune what you expect i feel like expect the best this is how i'm feeling for you expect that things are gonna work out for you have faith and the words let the words of thy mouth and the meditation of thy heart be accepted in thy sight oh ja something like that just say a prayer have faith you are loved your self-worth something I'm, you see this talk there's a toxic energy surrounding you this is like a narcissist or the way in which you grew up like maybe people always told you you were no good or that you're selfish or that you're salt or that you're unlucky and so you start to um accept that as a part of yourself when it is not true i feel something wonderful and magical happening for you i feel like there's some kind of a hate or there was hatred for you growing up in some way shape or form maybe by your family or some kind of a surrounding i feel like that your life is changing you're lifting your head up because i feel like for some of you most of your life you walked with your head kind of held down your fortune is changing i feel like expect the best for yourself stop expecting the worst whatever you're going for go for it saying yes um i feel like things are working out in my favor i feel good right because that could be interfering with your vision the way you feel about yourself your self-worth your dignity your pride your feelings of grace do you feel grace in your life do you feel like when like they say god your grace is sufficient do you feel worthy enough to what you know because i feel like you're very you're super valuable all right so you're gonna have a kind of a rebirth energy some transformation um oh something about the yellow and the flowers it could be about joy it could be about release it could be about letting go freedom letting go off of an identity that wasn't serving you like starting your life over and new like you're probably gonna have a brand new wonderful experience that's going to change your perspective of yourself this is giving me i just heard something else but i wanted to say new in the matrix but then i uh, what was that? It just came in and out. Like, something about Lauren Hill, something about music, something about changing up your vibration, like scratch. What? What? Wheel and come again? Yeah, but that's what we're saying. Starting over, you're gonna break some cycle here. It's like it, it's up to you, really, how you wanna keep moving forward. You're gonna keep like going after things and and doubting it still or you're gonna go after it and believe that things are working out for you wonderful see at the bottom of the deck we have the ten of cups the queen of pentacles showing up so show up for yourself let go of beliefs 
patterns that are not serving you they're not taking you anywhere they're probably costing you stress causing you money draining your energy right these this is thing this is also programming like i said that belief pattern energy maybe from your science your scientist okay your scientist so this is giving me something about school this is giving me indoctrination this is giving me programming brainwash please read my book being beauty journey to self-love it is for all genders <laughs> It is for both genders. All right, please read my book, Bean Beauty. It talks about being brainwashed. It talks about waking up. It talks about opening up. It talks about releasing. The link is in the description box. Okay, you can read it as an um, e-book or you can buy the print copy. All right. So start over. Let go off of a lot of things. And this is, this is even programming from your own family. The things that they would say about you. Like maybe they betrayed you, I just heard. Like they betrayed you. Alright, the things that they would say about you from you were little. They would tell, make you feel like you're the odd one out. Or you're special. Or you're different. Or you're strange. Because you don't think, feel, act like them. But that's all for a reason. It's just because now, it's, now you need to become aware of yourself. So you're gonna have a, um, a start over like a new path like you're living your life differently joyously now like you're going forward confidently your dreams are being realized by you so what is this full energy angels create guides for cancers look it's a new day it's a new start youthfulness joy success prosperity some of you are afraid of being alone. There's something I hear visceral. So there's something about your confidence or your feelings of safety in the world. Mm. Some of you feel unsafe in the world, exposed. Like you're just free. You need some of you need groundedness. You need a family perhaps. A uh, something to hold you to because maybe you feel like you're wandering some of you need a group yes you need a team yes 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 that would be good for you you, you you need a team I feel they're gonna be successful I feel like the showers of today are for blessings I feel like you need a team to work with to do something so this could be a project that some of you are working on and it's not collaboration, it's more like a, a, a hear few, it's more like a team, like a group of people, like a place, a sisterhood, a community. I hear backlash. Backlash, see that? Like people talking behind your back. Backlash. Backlash. Backlash, but this is giving me Yaksta, Yaksta the musician from Jamaica here. Backlash, what, so what are they saying? Like, stop caring about what people think. But yes, backlash, people are maybe talking about you. Yeah, yeah, blended. I feel like people are talking about, people are trying to, people are, so these people may be talking about you, like a group of people. You may feel like the other one out for real with the full card, but probably you are to stand out or you're different for your re you're higher vibrational than many, than even the ones that talk about you. You are higher vibration in love. You know what I mean? You're not hateful or envious or jealous. I feel like you may go to these people and talk to them with love, higher love without being fearful or anything like with the love of the most high kind of vibration all right i feel peace joy success for you also i feel wisdom and clarity so this is about you being self-aware upon your journey i need you to take a moment in each like in each moment of your day this is gonna be important for you going forward cancer in each this is in each moment of your day with any vision you have, every and ev any, <laughs> you should speak clearly, declare it done, saying, I am grateful, this is done, because you're worthy of it, 
or I say somehow some way this is gonna work out for me see so I'm building a fear you know you're, you're building your intention for yourself and it's gonna allow other people to have intention over you with their words and their thoughts and them back lashing you speaking behind your back probably coming to you as if they are loving and caring but behind your back they're lashing something like that for some of you so protect yourself be self-aware and like i said it's nothing to be afraid of because you're of a higher vibration in some way shape or form you're a leader yeah 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 i feel peace I feel romance. I feel ro I hear romance and peace. So hold on. Backlash definition is a strong negative reaction by a large number of people, especially to a social or political development. So retaliation, fallout, all right, um, reprisal, recoil, counteraction come back so there's gonna be some kind of a backlash um maybe it's gonna be from you source maybe it's gonna be from you or it's gonna be ooh, it's gonna be from you what did i say <laughs> or it's gonna be from someone else so there are some people that are upset you're gonna be like the other one i don't know what's happening with you here but people are upset we know what's going on in society this is powerful today you hear the thunder so there's gonna be public something about an arena with the police and the political people them or in a personal sense cancerian this is you dealing with an angel this is between the angels and um, spirit or religion or beliefs all right I feel like these this energy here as it's looks with the devil card something about a priest with a hair of fun you could be dealing with a Taurus energy or a Capricorn but this this energy is toxic this energy is like a cult remember I talk about a group of people that could be working against you that was the backlash enemy uh -uh, the backlash energy so these people could have been enemies for you they're gonna come back out with back. They're gonna come out with something to do. Boy, Lord of mercy. The backlash. So people are gonna come hard at a particular group. It's gonna be hard with the ten of swords energy. They're gonna come out like drastic, and I mean like driving force, you know, man. But this is this group that they're coming against. They think that it is weak. They think that they have power, especially the power of voice or power of law or attorney or of rights to speak over this group, that two of cups energy. We're going to look at it. Here it is. This could be about the police. Oh my God, I heard stand up for yourself. And something about the athletes as well. The ath oh my God, what am I doing? I'm so, I don't mean to get like this, but something about creative energy and law. So cancers, this is for some of you. There's um I don't know. I feel like I already went too too far, too global with this to go back to personal energies. What is the two of yeah, so someone is exposed there. It's like they're trying to push the two of cups out the window, you see? Like they're for evicting, they're forcing these people out, these members. Right? So that they can take their place. Remember in the beginning I said so it's something is changing I feel like someone is taking someone's place but in the beginning I felt like something was being moved so that you can take your place cancer but now I'm seeing as <sighs> just let's say it they may want to move out clear out a certain group maybe politics maybe law enforcement so that they can frigging replace them and I don't know if that's good or bad. But this group. They just. I don't know about their backbone. To tell you the truth. I don't know about their backbone at all. They, they just feel easily. 
so be careful of someone trying to push you over and out because they think you're weak but there's gonna be one or two or a few people that will stand up and will create a drama in the sense of it to fight for what is right and i feel like what is right will be done okay now this is um all right so that's that that's just i guess that's some general global messages this group though seems to be toxic with the devil this is the, this is a people or this is a person i know this person's face child this is a, like a person right this is so like someone in your midst is not for you they're not good for you i feel like this person is a hypocrite is the word that came to my mind and hypocrite in the most biblical sense and i'm even going to look for the definition of hypocrite in the most biblical sense like when the devil or god would say hypocrite that's the energy i'm getting like someone is a hypocrite hold on pause I just want to see how it relates because remember now we said backlash was a group of people speaking out against uh, another group right so backlash was like standing up for yourself or, or speaking out against something so a group is going to be backlashed so it could be political like I said or it could be law enforcement so people are speaking out I feel like that powerfully so hypocrite is um a hypocritical hypocritical person the story tells of a respectable ben who turns out to be a cheat and a hypocrite so this person you thought that they were respectable right with the high priestess like you thought this person was upstanding or like uh, maybe this is a, a person that was religious or whatever a school teacher who knows like a politician one of them kind of vibrations some traditional setting energy right societal vibration all right, so you thought this person was so upstanding because of the position that they hold. But guess what now, no? Who turns out to be a cheat and a hypocrite with the devil card here? Okay, so synonyms are, um, what? Pretender, deceiver, imposter, and some other words. Petist, whited, sepulchre, plaster saint, humbug, dissembler. Pharisee, all right, yeah, someone, someone is a Pharisee. Tartuff, all right, we're going to look at the word Pharisee. A member of an ancient Jewish sect distinguished by strict observance of the traditional and written law and commonly held to have pretensions to superior sanctity. Okay, then. So these people feel like they're above the law. So hypocrisy is the practice of engaging in the same behavior or activity for which one criticizes another, or the practice of claiming to have moral standards or beliefs to which one's own behavior doesn't reflect. So we're going to see some hypocrites. People are going to be saying these. So the hypocrites are going to be backlashed. Or if someone is going to say someone is a hypocrite, what is this ace of cups something is about love though it's about love and i feel people speaking it is it could be about love with the two of cups energy like someone could be moving towards someone and speaking forcefully but it is it has to do with love maybe someone not listening haha <laughs> you could be dealing with a pisces okay so what is the chariot so that could be your angel angels of protection that could be someone watching you perhaps I hear let let go something about music I think I mentioned musician see famous people the star there's something about a famous person a musician possibly dancer or dance hall so we have mu so we have the creatives like the stars the um the celebrities music athletes energy here as well or for you in your personal energy this is i hear this is an energy of love or passion and drive i feel that like you're going to be protected from hypocrites or hypocritical behavior someone is maybe going to be seeing their hypocritical behavior and some of you 
it could be like you're being hypocritical toward your own self. Remember in the beginning of the reading, what we were talking about was how you feel about your dreams and your visions going forward. Like, how are you being a hypocrite toward the life that you want to live? Like, I feel like that is a very deep, deep question. Someone is a sellout. Um, so some of some people are selling out themselves without even knowing because they're not giving yourself what you want and they're accepting something else. Like you're settling for less. You're not trusting your intuition. Bars. All right. So, the fool. So, some change starting over. Who is the fool or what is the fool? Energy, angel, spirits, guides. Rose. What is the fool? Energy. Rose. I don't know. Stardom. Take a break. I feel like you should start planting new seeds. In your own mind meaning maybe affirmations becoming self-aware affirming yourself affirming your life going forward like we were saying in the beginning okay something about spiders we're gonna look at the meaning of spiders the word spires spider love <laughs> all right we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna end this message here's a spider on the wall something about your family your friends your social life your loved ones so be mindful be self-aware protect yourself call in your angels declare your life going forward your life is changing beautifully um you deserve a lot of wealth prosperity and well-being moving into your life so get over that negative you see this energy that we this is the same thing you know, that negative programming that negative programming the society f with your brain man so that they can try and tell you who to be now but it's not gonna work it's like <laughs> they're gonna come up on some backlash or some ish like that like anyone that is trying to program your mind your angels are here like this is my child what the f are you doing like and you are on demand some of you could be losing weight or something about your weight or your body Let's see. Okay, so the word spider actually is derived from some Germanic background or origin, which means to spin. So something about cycles here. I feel like independent. So the spiritual meaning of spiders is independent and robust enough to flourish on their own. So personal power. The spiritual meaning of spiders is the epitome of personal power. Spiritually, many say that spiders represent the concept of manifestation, a, eh, and taking control of your own destiny. In spirituality and healing, we hear a lot about fate and how outside factors dictate what we experience. So this, you know what I'm talking about? Personal power back to determine your destiny, plant new seeds. That is the energy of your today. Start now. Plant new seeds. You're waking up to the vibration that you were programmed to believe in certain things when these more efforts are hypocrites. Read my book, Being Beauty Journey to Self Love, in the description box below the video. I'm going to create an ad for my book to run it across this channel. Lovely. I will see you in the next one. You're so protected. There's an energy here. This could be someone you're going to be meeting, collab like working with, or extending, extending visit, extensive visitor, maybe, I don't know, maybe a family member or something like that, or travelers, visitors, hmm, alright, much love, take it easy, bye, thanks for watching.